What's going on YouTube? Chris here again. Gonna do something a little bit different than what we typically do on the channel. Um, it's an unboxing of sorts, so we do some of that, uh, but it's a gear exchange. So basically what a gear exchange is, uh, somebody starts it, they kind of organize it, right? And they pick out five, 10 people um, that they want to be involved in this. Uh, people say, hey, this would be fun to do, yada, 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 and uh, exchange information. First person sets the rules. Uh, you know, how long you can have the box for, which I'm actually breaking the rules. Um, I've had the box too long. I just haven't been able to sit down and film this video. Sorry. Uh, anyway, so how long you can have the box, um, you know, what can go in it, what you can take out, you know, just that type of stuff. This exchange box is one that came about on the Paradise Lost forums, okay? And uh, I'm a member of this forum. It is kind of a group of guys that used to be pretty involved on the BattleBox forum. So if you're wondering where all of those people went, um, all you former BattleBox forum people before they went and nuked the forum because they couldn't take criticism, um, they're over here. A couple guys wisely got together, um, one person in particular, and created the forum and then invited a bunch of people. And they were running concurrently for a while. And then after uh, the, the big blow up of the BattleBox forums, um, this one kind of is where people started migrating. And I'll actually put a link to the Paradise Lost forum, the new BattleBox forum, um, and the link down below. And anything goes there. It's not owned by the company, uh, which is nice. So you could talk shit about them, you could praise them, whatever you want to do. So let's talk about this box right here. This is the biggest exchange box I've ever seen in my life. Uh, we're going to open it up in a minute. I'll show it to you in a minute. Uh, basically, the rules of this exchange are is you can take whatever you want out, but you got to put pretty close to dollar for dollar back in, and it's mostly outdoor gear. So that's the type of folks that are on the Paradise Lost Forum, um, or people that are outdoorsmen, um, preppers, survivalists, uh, lots of LEO guys. Uh, so there's some tactical aspects of the group as well. And uh, yeah, so take out stuff, put stuff back in, equal value. It could be lightly used. Um, and I think one of the rules was no Lord and Field, no Battle Tack, and uh, I think there are a few other rules, but I can't remember them. So, let me show you this thing. Oh my gosh, this thing is gargantuan. Oh, this is it right here. This thing is huge. Something huge is in here. And uh, it got a little beat up in transit. Um, we're going to have to duct tape some of these corners if we're going to use this box again. Not gonna show the entire contents because this video just doesn't have time for that. And we want some surprises for the people down the road. And one of the cool things about these exchange boxes, the first guy packs a whole bunch of his gear in there, stuff he's got, stuff he's bought, and uh, ships it off. And by the time those 10 people have made it back to him four months later or so, three months later, he has a box full of entirely different and hopefully equal value items. Uh, one really cool looking item. <clears throat> um, yeah, that's awesome. So we've got some mountain house foods, an axe. Man, there's so much stuff in here. Look at this one. Wow, look at this pack. This is a huge freaking pack. Uh, it's an LA Police Gear LNT pack. It's big. This is awesome. Somebody's going to be stoked. I have so many packs right now. I'm going to pass that one up. Man, lots of different stuff in here. Let me see. What is going to perk my interest? I like this item that I'm looking at right now. I'm probably gonna keep it. Ooh, okay, let's set that aside. There's all sorts of interesting stuff in here. This thing is huge. Oh, okay, so here's a, a Stanley Cook set. Um, this is a, a pretty decent set, lots of stuff in here. Prep and cook set. One of my favorite little knives, the Outdoor Edge um, Razor Light EDC. That's cool. Some cool stuff. A 
little pack. There's another pack in here. Here's a little uh, fire survival kit. It's got some waxed coated jute, striker rod and ferro, and a bunch of fat wood with a little fat wood on the outside. Like that. Oh, little uh, wick lighters. Paracord. Let's see, what's this? Wow, this is a cool, cool item um, made by Gerber, and I'm, not, I'm just going to tease it. I'm not going to show you guys so other people are surprised. A former knife of the month from uh, BattleBox. That back. Put 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 that back. I'm liking this. Let me think about that. Okay, let me take a break. Okay, so I'm back and let me go through the stuff that I'm keeping. Um, basically, this uh, fire starting kit. I like starting fires. Um, I like that there's some extra fat wood there, some fat wood inside. There's uh, all sorts of good stuff in here. Pretty stoked about this. I'm gonna keep uh, this. This is a pretty cool little deal. Um, it's a water bottle filter adapter from Life Straw. Um, you can use a Hydro Flask, Clean Canteen, Camelback, Nalgene's, and uh, you just put the filter in there. Uh, I'm going to have to have to look at exactly how to use it, but it, it looks pretty simple. And then I'm going to keep this uh, Stanley and Cook set. Um, I think uh, it'll go good with the Solo stove I have. Uh, I just got that in a poor man's preparing prep box, so pretty stoked about that. And then <clears throat> right here, kind of my favorite item. Um, this is like a little IFAC. It's a uh, Molly compatible. Um, pulls out of the pouch, but it's got a lanyard, so it stays close to the pouch. And we got all sorts of stuff in here. Um, probably one of the best tourniquets out there. Um, this is a cat tourniquet. Uh, these are pretty effective. Um, lots of uh, you know bandages and stuff like that. Got some quick cloth. Some rubber gloves, compressed gauze, uh, an emergency bandage. Um, yeah, so a uh, pretty cool little kit. Gonna keep that. I like it. So what am I putting back in? I took four items. I don't know like hardcore values of these items, uh, but I'm gonna try to get close. So, ah, let me reach. And I also don't know like a lot of the guys very well that are participating in this. Um, so I'm just going to kind of go with the wide assortment of stuff and a few things that really aren't in here. Um, what this is, is a, a little Zippo hand warmer. You put the fluid in this, you turn it on, put your lid back on, and this little puppy works as a hand warmer. So uh, somebody will appreciate that, I think. The next thing I'm going to put in is uh, an unopened but unused. I had to open it up to see what was inside. A Dragonfire Tinderbox uh, dried out tinder. So that's that, I know, less than exciting. Here is a, oh, I forget the brand on this, but this is a pretty cool little tarp. This would be great for guys at hammock camp and other stuff too, it's gonna work great. Uh, I, I really like it, but I just don't get that much use out of it. It's still in really good condition, um, just because I've only used it out in the field like once. Um, this is a, a really cool, Little tarp, it's got all the lanyards and it's got some stakes uh, in it as well. Um, there's a pouch with the stakes. Uh, so hopefully somebody can find some cool use out of this. And I didn't see anything like that in the box, so figured something like this would be cool. Sorry I don't have the original packaging. Um, it's very straightforward how you work it. The next thing we got um, is a little hunting item. I'm guessing some of these guys hunt. And uh, this is the Vortex Summit and it's a car window mount for a spotting scope or uh, binoculars. So, kind of hard to let this one go. These are not, they're not super expensive, but they're not super cheap. I'm putting in something totally unrelated. You guys know I love to fish. Here is a really interesting um, spinning reel. This is a bait feeder. So for guys out there that catfish or you bait, you know, fish with bait a lot, there's a, a secondary drag on it you can set, uh, fish can come take and walk away basically with the bait and you'll see your line kind of moving, you'll hear it coming out. 
then you go and you spin your reel, set your hook. Um, great for like catfish, sturgeon, some ocean fishing, and uh, that type of stuff. I've used it a few times. Uh, it's a Daiwa MCAST BR4000 and it's in really good shape. There's some braid on it already for, for somebody that's already spooled up and ready to rock and roll. It's not gonna fit. Ah! All right, so that's that. Oh, the boxes all filled back up. I gotta put somebody else's name on it and send it on down the road. I'm also gonna duct tape the crap out of some of these corners because they're falling apart. I really think these exchange boxes are a cool way to trade gear, basically discover new gear. And, and you could do them on anything. Like I'm thinking about starting one um, for fishing, for fishing lures and stuff like that. Just starting a, an exchange box, talking to some of my buddies that do YouTube and just friends in general, seeing if anybody's interested in that. Um, it's good to know, kind of know and trust uh, some of the people involved. It is possible that somebody could take this box and just keep it. And the guy who started it is out a whole bunch of gear, which would be a totally shitty thing to do. I mean, totally shitty. As long as you know some of the people, you could do this with family, friends, college buddies, um, you know, just whoever, and, you know, start something up, ship it out, uh, do the exchange thingy. When it gets back to you, it's totally different. So I've participated in a few of these. They've all gone extremely well, and it's kind of cool to, to see what people do. What we're doing with this exchange box over on Paradise Lost Forum, which I'm going to link down below, is when guys uh, take stuff out or put stuff in, um, you know, take pictures of it. I'm going to do a video of it. But that is that, and now it's time to get this thing off to its next person. It's time for me to wrap up this video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you like the idea of these exchange boxes or you have an idea on what would be a cool exchange box to do, why don't you leave it down in the comment section down below. Um, you know, if you think this would be fun to do with your friends, share this video with your friends, tell them about it. Thank you guys for watching and thanks for getting out west with Chris.